Alex from Advanced Installer and today we are going to have a look on package support framework from Microsoft. Uh, the goal of this video is to have an idea on what is package support framework, what it contains, how it works and how to use it in your MSIX packages and at the end some demos with both Advanced Installer and MSIX packaging tool from Microsoft. Uh, keep in mind this is more of an introduction to package support framework video and not a tutorial on the full functionality of it. So to start things off we need to know why package support framework exists. It all has to do with migrating your legacy applications to Windows 10. There are a lot of applications out there where the source code is not accessible for debugging and fixing the application in case it fails to work on Windows 10. And let's be real, nobody wants to actually debug what's crashing in an application when you are not a developer. You might even have 1000 or 2000 other applications waiting in the background to be migrated. So you want a quick and easy tool to fix them. This is an open source project that was released by Microsoft to debug and integrate fixes in your problematic applications. Uh, you can see it as custom actions, but not for the installer itself, but for the application. Okay, so you might ask yourself, what's inside the package support framework? So under the hood, the package support framework uses the Detours technology, an open source framework for handling API redirections and hooking. This technology will allow you to smart up your application. The framework allows you to use the predefined fix ups and also enables you to create new fix ups. Microsoft has already provided some of the most well known fixes, but Advanced Installer extended the list with other useful fixes like shortcut switches, copy and write ape data, and so on. Keep in mind that being an open source tool, everybody can, can contribute to it. The official Microsoft release for the PSF can be found on their official GitHub page, but you don't need the whole repository to use it in your MSIX package. So the main resources that must be included into an MSIX package are the runtime fix up DLLs, which are predefined or any other custom ones that you might build, a configuration JSON, which specifies the fix ups used by your application, an executable, aka the launcher, it reads the configuration file and injects the manager and fix ups into your main application process. And last, the PSF runtimes. This should be included depending on your application's architecture. So if you have a look in a package created with Advanced Installer, you can find the PSF launcher or AISTAB.exe or fix up DLLs, one for each architecture, the PSF configuration JSON file, and last but not least, the PSF runtimes utilities required by the PSF launcher. The advanced installer PSF support extends the official release from Microsoft. So here are some of the major improvements. Advanced installer provides a single click debugging experience that can automatically trace your application and suggest fix ups as you will see in the demo later on. The PSF launcher included by advanced installer also handles additional tasks not supported by default inside an MSIX package. For example, shortcut arguments, running PowerShell scripts and so on. We include additional predefined fix ups as visible in the app compatibility page like file redirection, public HTML file properties, DLL directory fix ups, PowerShell script fix up, and so on. We also automatically generate the configuration JSON file based on the configurations from our graphical user interface. Depending on the app specifications, there might be new scenarios for which we do not provide a predefined fix up. But please contact us, no matter if you are using the free express edition or one of our paid versions, over email at support at and we'll analyze your problem and try to provide a fix up. Cool, right? So how does it work? Well, fix ups are written in C++. The resulted DLLs 
hook into your application when launched, and redirect its API calls. These DLLs need to be included in the MSIX package next to your application binaries and other PSF resources mentioned previously in this video. The executable inside the package support framework becomes the entry point in your package. Basically, this executable is the first code that gets executed every time your application gets launched. Did I lost it there? So let's have a look at the picture. So if we have a look, the launcher.txe, which is the PSF launcher, will load the corresponding runtime manager DLL and the configure fixups, and then it launches your main application while it's ejecting the fixups in the main application process. As an example, in MSIX is forbidden to write in its own installation folder. If an application tries to do that and it fails, the runtime fixups redirect that write call to a new location under local app data. With this example in mind, let's have a look on how to debug such behavior with Advanced Installer and implement a PSF fixup. So for this demo, I created a simple application which has a button. When you press that button, it automatically creates a sample TXT file near the exe location. I then created an MSIX package and installed it. Now, with the sample exe file, you can see that you have the create file button. If we press this button, the application will crash because it cannot create the TXT file. As already mentioned, you cannot create files inside the installation directory of an MSIX package. So let's see how we can debug this with advanced installer and how can we create the fix up. So first let me uninstall the application and afterwards I will show you the package and how it looks like. It's nothing too special. You have just sample redirect.exe and that's pretty much it. If we navigate to app compatibility page you can click on Trace app. When you click on Trace app, Advanced Installer automatically builds your project and installs the package. After that, it captures everything it does in the background to see if something fails. Okay, so the package is now installed. Let's drag it here. And let's click Create File. Cool, so as you can see, Advanced Installer automatically detected that the application cannot create a file. Let's wait for it to stop. OK. And if we click here, you can see that it fails to create the TXT file we want inside the installation directory, VFS, program files, my app. So if we click on this error, we can add a file redirection. And for the time being, we'll just add for the TXT type and the file redirection is automatically created by advanced installer. So now let's save it, close the application and now click trace app again. Again, advanced installer builds your application, your package, installs it. Cool. So it opened up. Let me drag it on the monitor and let's click create file. May God be with us. Hey, here is some sample text. This is what's written inside our sample TXT file. So it's that easy to detect what's wrong with your application, debug it, and also create fix ups with Advanced Installer. So, with this in mind, let's have a look on how you can create the same fix up with MSIX packaging tool. Okay, so I already went and created the package with MSIX packaging tool and installed it and opened up the application. Of course, if we click create file, the application will crash, is the expected behavior. And for the moment, the MSIX packaging tool does not offer an integrated solution to add your package support framework runtimes and fix ups. So I went on GitHub and downloaded everything that we need. So these are the files we need to manually add in our package the file redirection fix ups DLLs, the 
PSF launcher, of course. This is what will launch our executable from our package. The PSF run DLL EXEs and the PSF runtimes DLLs. So once we add all these in our package, we need to create the configuration JSON file, which will tell the PSF launcher, hey, when you launch this application, please use this redirection DLL to redirect the API call to write the file in the installation directory. So let me first add all the files needed in the package. And after that, I will explain how the configuration JSON was created. Okay, so I now added all the files necessary for the package support framework. But first, let's have a look at the package manifest. So if we open up the package manifest, and scroll down we can see that we have our application id sample redirect that points to our sample redirect.exe file we need to first change this to point to the psf launcher exe so let me change it here we are using the 64-bit launcher because our application is 64-bit so let us save it cool and the next thing to do, and the last thing to do, is to add the configuration JSON file in the package. So, if we have a look on the configuration.json file, if we remember, in the package manifest, our application ID was sample redirect. The executable was in the VFS program files, my app sample redirect.txt. The working directory, of course, was the same. And we are using the file redirection fix up uh, DLL in order to tell the PSF launcher, hey, if the application launches and tries to write any type of TXT file inside the My App location, the installation directory, then it will redirect it. So with this file created, we just need to add it in the package. So let me edit. Okay, add the file. Go on the desktop, we have our configuration.json file. Okay, save it here. Let's save the application. Uh, no, I don't want to increment the version. Let me save it on the desktop. Okay, cool. So now let's try to install it. Okay, so let's hit install. And let me drag the application on the monitor. Hey, it works. So this is how you add package support framework, redirects, or other type of fixes you want in, the, in your package using the MSIX packaging tool. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and now have a better understanding on how package support framework works. Don't forget to visit our blog and also check out our free express edition of Advanced Installer. Until next time, see ya!